everyone, and Happy New Year. Well, one of the exciting things taking place in Colorado this year is the legalization of marijuana. At least it's exciting for some people. Hey, There's a real buzz about what's happening here in Colorado. You only need to look at a few news stories from around the country to see everybody's talking about it. The latest stories are about marijuana clubs, where people pay a membership fee to visit and smoke pot, apparently legally under Colorado's pot amendment that was passed last November. But some folks are a little too anxious to get the doobie train rolling. Take Paul Lovato of Del Norte. He decided to open a marijuana club in his small southern Colorado town. He even leased property to place it in. The problem is, the lease was set to begin on Tuesday, New Year's Day. But Paul apparently thought it would be great to get a jump on New Year's by hosting his first party Monday evening, New Year's Eve. That sparked a whole bunch of publicity and his new landlord found out and he immediately canceled the lease. In my buzz, and you're to blame, darling, you give buzz a bad name. Make sure next time the lease is actually in effect before you start partying. Meanwhile, Club 64, named after the amendment to legalize marijuana, opened in Denver this week with a slightly different model. It's a private club without a permanent address. The owner said she plans to move her club around to different locations at unspecified times and have club members show up then. Sort of like a rave for stoners. Whether these new clubs will pass legal tests remains to be seen. No doubt some communities will try to close them. But waiting for legal approval has never been a primary characteristic of marijuana enthusiasts. The marijuana clubs are just one more bit of over-the-top pot lore. Smoking, 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 smoking weed.